We're at the Allergic Stadium in Lost Wages. And I am ready to gamble, Grim. Which slot is the best odds and wages? Uh, that would be the ATM, Bricks. Oh, good. I'll play that one, then. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Lost Wages Invaders. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Oh, what the brutal hit! And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First and ten. Look okay, out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. He's on the chance. The whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Gets the ball, gets a first down, and don't die. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this night, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And Shane Sons really have a way of extending the red zone on the cut ball that bluff. <laughs>
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. You were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. During one play to be more and more exact. It wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And it's first and ten. The runner pulls out a check. particular move, Bricks. Two on the nose. That and, uh, well, the robot. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He is fighting for every yard. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I, I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Yes. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks?
Alex, wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Now it's all fun and games until he tries breakdancing. Yep, but sculptors, it's always more fun. Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. You can't keep a good mutant down. Uh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down. And it's first and ten. Crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, We're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that was a huge run right there. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Third down and six. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Apparently the punt of the day is being played by my... No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hunt. Hunt one, hunt two, hunt. 
is important. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the deep. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. It's just the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Oh. 
Second down in a very lot. Hot one. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Touchdown! You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but, man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down and five. harder than that and that is unfortunate and the quarterback throws another pick he should have eaten his sleeves oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life yeah. and it's first and ten hot one hot two Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third and one. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get... And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. He got hit by a car and died. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And the defense is on his heels. The 10. Touchdown! That's an awesome punt return for the score. What a play! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kick and job in half? They just... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Don't you just 
just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of my... And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. That's a passing catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads up. He just... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. The QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, we got about a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Man, I'm two fists into this bottle of scotch. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Uh, come on, man, you gotta catch that. I don't catch it. It looks like we've got a penalty here. <laughs> First down and six. Two, hot. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. 
I've had it. I'm running out of excuses. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Must he find his head? He'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh! And the defense jumps outside. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. sister can throw further than that but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters and that'll be second and eight to go great play by the defense it's not too often a quarterback gets rejected that's why that's the position i originally tried out for I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is and another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. Invaders devastate the opposition at home. The opposing team can't feel the team, so this one ends in a forfeit. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because hell, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...